Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Urban Warfare. Guys, this is just the intro because uh, last time I was recording in a bulk and I needed to make a cut because the episode was too long. Now you will see the second part of the Flashpoint. We're gonna play with the Raven today and it's gonna be glorious, you will see. So I wish you all a lot of fun. Let's go. So we have the Raven on Razor and we have Bravo Lands. Okay, so we can only command one lance, but we just take the commander seat here. I get it. Okay. Let's deploy. The good thing about this here is that we don't have to worry about uh, losing mechs or anything. I know, I know, and I shouldn't say that. And I really want to, I really want to, uh, you know, have them survive the combat here and the engagement. But... Speaking from a business perspective of my mercenary um, crew, those guys are expendable. Okay, according to the intel we found, the Black Caldera's hardened R&D facility is protected by a phalanx of LRM batteries. Using the Raven's unique capabilities, you will protect Bravo Lands from these weapons while leading them to destroy the facility. End all this and we are done here. I am looking forward to that. So just yesterday I was watching uh, one of those developers uh, diaries and uh, pretty cool. Here we go. This is it commander. The Black Aldera facility should lie just ahead of us. Yes, it's time to see whether the Raven's anti-IDF capabilities are everything they are cracked up to be. If they aren't, it's gonna be a short trip. It'll work. The great houses wouldn't all be fighting over this prototype if it were a dud. No, I say that we get in there and blow that facility to hell. And that, and back, and then back to hell again. And that we do it in Ombra's name. Best of luck, Bravo Lance. When the job is done, I'll be waiting to bring you home. Woohoo! The Data Recovery Raven Prototype. Alright. I've updated your command console to support the Raven's advanced, advanced technology, Commander. You're good to go. Wow, oh, I can see why everyone's after this prototype. Tech like this should reshape the battlefield if deployed properly. So, the Raven was just introduced in that period of time here, so it seems. They, they have no idea what this mech can do. So the Raven is not a common, common thing that you will see on the battlefield. According to the Black Caldera data archive, the Raven is equipped with two comp components that make up its, its electronic warfare suite. The first component is the ECM, short for Electronic Countermeasures. ECM creates a field around the carrier that impedes enemy weapon locks. We have that circle thing. The ECM's range is indicated by a dotted ring and visible energy field around the carrier. Uh, all friendly units within the field gain missile defense. They can't be targeted for indirect fire and are very difficult to hit with missiles, even in direct line of sight. Friendly units within the field also gain a stealth charge. They are effectively cloaked and cannot be targeted with any weapons. The ECM carrier receives a second stealth charge. Wow. The ECM field can be countered by close range visual confirmation. One stealth charge is subtracted uh, when an enemy unit enters an ECM field and for each enemy unit in the ECM field at the start of a new round units with no remaining stealth charges are targetable by indirect fire. Again. Uh, one stealth charge is when an enemy unit enters. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, makes sense. You can just close in and uh, negate the ECM then. Sensor lock removes all stealth, stealth charges from a targeted unit. Sensor lock units also lose their missile defense and are targetable with all weapons fire. If a cloaked friendly unit fires a weapon or uses an activated ability, it loses one stealth charge. Stealth charges are replaced for units with friendly ECM if the carrier starts or ends its turn with no active enemy units in its ECM field. Okay, got it. Oh, this is a lot. The second component is an active probe. The probe behaves like an area of effect sensor lock. On steroids! It's accessed via a new button in the carrier's weapons panel. Warning, firing a probe spikes heat and must cool down after use. When triggered, the active probe radiates a pulse that reveals enemy units and makes them easier to hit. And as an added bonus, the active probe will shut down an enemy ECM carrier's capability for a short time. Okay. Affected units also have their sensors impaired, interfering with their targeting systems. That's it, Commander. Good hunting. Whew, that's a lot. You know what? 
I really like the visuals of that. Look at that. Like, like those, those scrambled mech silhouettes. So good. Alrighty. Uh, let's advance to the base then. Okay, we have to destroy the research facility. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just do it. Ah, okay, so I'm out of the stealth charge now. Yep. Position Obviously. Moving out. Luckily, my lance is fast enough to advance freely here. By the way, uh, let me quickly talk about our max. We have a trebuchet, that's double LRM-15, medium laser, that is a ridiculous amount of damage against uh, turrets. Yep, and, oh, she has sheer footing and bulwark. I was hoping for multi-target. Not gonna happen. The javelin. Ready to get it on. Uh, sorry, now the griffin has multi-target and coolant vent. Those pilots are elite pilots. They're pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. And... Standing by. Peregrine, medium laser, medium laser, medium laser, also multi-target and shoot footing. Okay. Ah. Uh, keep running around. Okay, we got a enemy contact now. They in the cloak. Picked up a blip. So they they shouldn't they shouldn't be able to shoot us at all, right? As long as we are safe here. Let's reserve that. Alright, that's a trebuchet. How do we do Got that now? I think I want to try to shoot the trebuchet. This. Uh, I do not get direct line of sight, sadly. Not with my trebuchet. Who actually enables the line of sight? Oh, here. Look at that. That's a spot where I can actually start shooting. What's up, boss? Ready for orders. Yeah. It's obstructed. No, it's not obstructed. That's pretty good. So here's how we engage. I'm gonna jump up here. Roger. Shoot him. Confirmed. Getting evasion off the guy. Okay. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> okay. Standing by. Yeah, but point still stands. We have to take him down. Let's just go and shoot him Firing as much weapon. as possible. I mean, this trebuchet just have massive firepower. As a massive firepower. Good to go. Mm, PPC also needs to get shot, so we'll do it like. I think I just might jump. Might as well. Okay. 40% on the LRM-10, though. Not great. Yeah, that's how I want to do it. It's a good hit. Structure is exposed. Oh, if we could blow up that side torso. Our Raven also has weapons, so that's the cool thing about it. Um, by the way, I want to get into a position where I can not only shoot the enemy... Uh, hello? Seriously, where can I shoot? Ah, yeah, but I want to shoot the enemy as well as having my people in the, the sensor and the ECM bubble. I guess we'll do it like that. I think the Griffin is evasive enough at the moment to... Eh, ah, okay, we will see. We will see about that. Okay. Got a lock on me. Got a lock, got a lock. Ray shots against the buildings are gonna be very, very bad. Yeah. Can't hold it. Okay. Armor's holding command. Okay. Nothing to see here. That was a mistake. I should have I should have snuck upon uh, the turrets. Those LRMs are gonna kick I'm my falling. butt. Seriously. Okay. Okay, made a mistake here. I gotta admit that. Completely on me. Mm-hmm. Alright. Can we actually do that? Can we? 
See, the thing is, maybe I should have just gone in and destroyed the buildings and then run away. Just a hit and run mission here. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So... What happens if I reserve now? This guy has an ECM thing, this guy has an ECM thing. The Griffin does not. Okay, I'm gonna reserve this. Yeah, it has to be done. I need to learn how to use that properly. Ready for orders. The thing is, if I can manage to destroy the trebuchet right now, then it won't get any, or the turrets won't get any locks on me anymore, right? So here's aye, aye. what we do. We just move in. I think I'm gonna use Vigilance here. Taking off the stability damage. Just to make sure. Okay. Gonna shoot him a bit more. Great damage, by the way. Solid connection on that one. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. That's also not how to do it. Not much armor left in that location. Okay. Uh Commander? We stand up. Thank you. Stability regained, Commander. Mm, I see that. See, the problem is, I really, really, really want that trebuchet down. Like, really, 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 really. And just go here. And shoot him. Will I be safe? Probably not. Will I deal damage enough to destroy him? Probably not. Okay. Roger. Keep your eyes peeled, Bravo Lands. Black Aldara is bound to have more mechs in the area. And they are likely to call him... In any second now. Okay. Okay, so if they have more mechs... Yeah, we have to... We have to sneak upon the turrets. I did it wrong. Can I Can I restart the mission? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we somehow have to fight our way out of this, yeah. And... If we have to fight our way out of this, we have to fight our way out of this. It was a big mistake. Okay. Awaiting orders. Let's deal with the consequences. Confirmed. Uh huh. No mediums, just LRMs. Not enough. Oh my God, he's so so close to getting destroyed. So what was that? If I just move now and end my turn, do I get more stealth? If I not shoot, if I do not shoot my weapons here, with the Raven, I think that was how it worked, right? Can I get some evasion? Let's do it. It's good evasion. Good like that. And we brace. No. Oh. They've got a sensor lock on me. Alright, sensor locking. Raven is getting shot. But that's fine. That's okay. That's just a little bit of damage there. I think what we could do is um, we could try to reserve a lot. And there's a carrier. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. God damn it. Another one. Ow. Okay. Yet again, some I have to fight my way out of this. Oof. Yeah, goodbye, Raven. I'm here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Uh, we're gonna pull him back. And race here. Reserve. Holding for the right opportunity. Reserve. Ah, he's running away. Okay, we're gonna reserve even further. So many 
So many of them. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yes, Commander. Okay, I guess we have another target now. We have two more targets here. Both of those carriers need to go. Here it comes. One is down. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Aye, aye. Next up. God, do I have enough firepower for destroying the second carrier? I hope so. Roger that. Problem is, my heat is spiking. Splash is not gonna do it. Mm, we might be able, though, to do it. Let's see. Almost. I mean, we still have Peregrine. Let's see. Okay, carriers down. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, we are... Is that how you do it? Seriously. Hold it for the right opportunity. I mean, they didn't do anything here. Right? We're just gonna we're just gonna hold position under the cloak. And then in the very last round, in the very last turn, like here, we're gonna start acting. I think that's how we do it. Let me see again. Ready for orders. Um let's bring Razor over here, so that she can provide a bigger bubble. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Orders. This is so stressful right now, because my mechs are Commander. not in the best condition anymore, to say the least. Oh, I can start shooting turrets down there. Alright, that's one evasion at least. Let's go and destroy the trebuchet. Hopefully. I want to see if I can go for something like that. PPC down there. LRM on the damaged trebuchet. It was enough. Perfect. So we didn't waste that PPC shot. 40 damage, sadly, on the arm, but still there. Commander. Two evasion. That's pretty good. And you really need to vent some heat there. Also, I have the feeling that I shouldn't waste ammo. But going overheat also is, is not a good idea. We'll go. Okay, one medium laser crits. Oh, this is interesting. My turn again. I'm here. Evasion. Give me two evasion. Do I need it? I don't know. So, here we have a heat problem now. On and hey, that's an arm down. That's two medium lasers Locking off the board. And that's a cloak again. Okay, 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 I got this. Yeah, we definitely got this. Oh! No! 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 We have been revealed! I'm under heavy fire! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. The locos, the scouts coming in now. Ah, oh, breaching my ECM. Uh, yeah, we have to do something about them, right? Um, we have to pull back the raven. Yes. Maybe like that. God, please don't destroy the raven. Please don't destroy the raven. See, I do want to disengage completely here. Why? Those guys have still the ECM active. My javelin does not. Here's what we do. Gonna get down there. Okay. And I 
Javelin... Mm, the Javelin was not having stealth anymore at all, so nothing I could have done there. And... The Griffin still has... Also, the Griffin and the Trebuchet still have armor, so that's gonna be fine. -ish. So here's what we do. We're gonna remove some... Oh, this is stressful. This is so hard to think about here. Um, we're gonna remove some evasion on the Locust. Those are the guys that need to go Standing down by. next, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, Commander. Can only shoot medium lasers, but I think it's actually a good idea. Do it. Confirmed. They bring so, so many things here. Aye, yeah. Aye. We just bring the Griffin in there, dealing 70 damage. I don't think so, no. Wait a second. Can I destroy the striker? Yes. On the move. It's possible. Let's actually try to do it. Bad shot there. I'm I'm super unhappy that we hit the uh, turret. Okay. It's okay. That's fine. We still have a lot of armor on the Griffin. We should use the Trebuchet as our tank next round. Something's moving. Unknown vehicle. Probably another striker. And we are cloaked again. Okay. We got that. Peregrine. They're just hoping. Oh, he's lost it. He lost it again. God damn it. This ECM thing is super, super interesting. But it also slows down the game like crazy. Oh, and that's him down. Oh. He's still alive! Structure He's still alive! Good. We need to destroy the scouts. That's, uh, like, top priority right now. And Orders. I want the Griffin to punch this. Let's go. Move order received. Just an arm! That's not enough! Oh, boy. Target's taking a critical hit. Oh, boy. That is not good enough. And at the same rate, we are just taking a little bit of damage from the Trebuchet on the outskirts. I mean, as soon as we have those guys down, we can engage the turrets safely, as in very, very safely. Uh, you don't do anything? You can also punch people still, right? You still have 25 damage, that's something. You have 65. Let's keep punching then. Saving some heat. Alright, that's a side torso. Critical hit. And the knockdown. Those locos are harsh. And the sound is gone for some reason. Okay. Eric Green, you need to pull back here. It's getting way. too risky for you. And we'll shoot. Actually, we'll shoot the second side also. That would be a kill. But it isn't. Not a good idea. Not a good angle. I have to bring the Raven back. And I need to shield with the left side. But hard. As in super hard. Okay, and we brace. Striker coming in. Live! Live, Mr. Javelin! My internals are taking a beating. <laughs> Holy cow. Second striker. Finally shooting the trebuchet. That's pretty good. Alrighty. Locked. Perfect. Um. Orders. Running around. Shooting. It's not enough. One more shot though. Actually, still tanking damage. This is so crazy. So damn crazy. Raven definitely needs to be cloaked still. Uh, so we will reserve here. Standing by. 
Okay, this Locus is standing up. God, where do I want to go after this? Okay, backshot. Actually, it's pretty good because this is still armor that we are not using yet. Good, 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 good. Mm hmm. Not entirely sure about that, but. Standing by. Is what we do. We'll probably just shoot him. No, wait a second. Oh god, decisions. So, first of all, we need to destroy the striker. We also need to destroy both locusts. That guy has a 5 health, so the raven is gonna kill this guy, right? Yeah. Um, for the moment, though, we're gonna be reserving. Let's see what's happening on the outskirts. Hmm? The griffin's leg is getting slim. And also unsteady now. Okay, so we need to do something with the griffin right now. And I was thinking about just stomping on the striker because we have a huge impact here. Okay, it's just a tank off the field. Alright? Here's how we do it. Okay. Shook off the instability. As well as destroying another target. Next striker coming close. Don't shoot my griffin! Mm-hmm. Where's all my armor? This is all way too close here. <laughs> way too close. So, as I was saying, Razor. Ah, Razor can only punch this guy. That's unfortunate. Aye, aye. So we'll try to do something like this here. We have the cooling, which means we can completely Completely shoot this guy. If we take it out, if we take it out, we would clear the way for punching the other locals. It would be a stretch, I know, but it would help so much. Do we have the firepower? Yes, we do. So we do it. Okay. That was pretty bad. As in, very bad. Okay, that's all we can do this round. Sensor lock, sensor lock. Oh, what? The alarms are flying again. Internal structure damage. The bad kind. And that's a dead javelin. No, it's not. He lives. Armor breach. He lives. Damage. This is so funny. This is so damn funny. Okay. Here we go, guys. Gonna... God, where do we gonna hide? Where are we gonna hide here? Like, all the way in the back, I guess. Confirmed. Come on. Uh... Ill? Engaging with time. Great! <laughs> we will get there, and we will finish this. Locus backing up. So good! So damn good! We can reserve again! I cloaked completely! But yeah, that was that, of course, the locusts were in the in the proximity, and that's what happened here. So if the striker decides to come close. He is still alive. I cannot believe that. That javelin is is just MVP right now. I can't believe this. This is unreal. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Another enemy bites the dust. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Okay. Um, let's reserve another turn. I've been sent to lock. It's bad. Waiting for orders. Okay, how do we get evasion at least? Two evasion, we can only shoot the trebuchet in the back. But that only is actually not too bad. Or I can get two evasion and uh, shoot a locust at 40%. Ooh, nasty. Very nasty. In coordinates. So what I want to do here is I want to use Vigilance, okay? And... 
I will shoot the trap in the back. Locked on with all weapons. It's just good damage that I don't want to sacrifice right now. Yeah. It was bound to happen. It was just bound to happen. Sorry, Peregrine! Love you, man. Really sorry. Okay. I don't have really... Yeah. I have no, no space to maneuver here. Absolutely not. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna expose the back. Because that's where I still have armor. 20 armor only, but still armor. Or will it attract the locals? That's the thing. Do it like that. Brace. Whew. All right. Gonna reserve. Let's see what's coming. Ooh, he did nothing. That's perfect. Which means that... Yeah, we need to... Because they are revealed, we need to destroy the Locust anyway now. And I think it's gonna be another punch here. 70 damage is quite good. Perfect hit. Center to also destroyed. Hostile eliminated. Oh my god. Oh my god. Will we make it here? I'm gonna reserve the trebuchet. No, I'm not gonna reserve the trebuchet. You know what? I will try to destroy one of those turrets. Those have to go right now. And let me quickly check. That's 4 times 15. That is 60 damage. That's uh, 120 damage. That should be enough to kill here. Let's do it like that. Copy that. That's one of those stupid turrets down. Thank you. One less turret. Good. Razor is going up here. Shielding with that side and bracing. Okay, it actually works now. Standing by. Ah! Our cover has been breached. Our armor has been breached. Okay, that was really bad. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Um. Aye, aye. Shoot him, right? Are we shooting him? I go down here and jump. Can I jump even further? Sadly not possible. I need to get some distance between me and him. 50 damage or 70 damage? I mean, the LRMs are not doing that much. I think I'm gonna go for another melee attack here, honestly. That's how we do it. Yo. Alright, right also is destroyed, which is great because it removes weapons, but he is still in the ECM bubble. Commander. So, I wanna try something. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Move order confirmed. Shoot him completely with everything that we have. He has to go now. As in right now. Yeah, which we don't get, but it's fine. Here's what we do. Try to get those in the bubble. And brace. So that they are cloaked again. And we got this. Okay. Whew, that's uh It's a combination. Cool, Tribishi running away from us. Oh, that's pretty much perfect. That is good. That means that now we can just pull back. We can just shoot him with all we have. We're gonna play it extremely safe. All weapons are go. Sadly, the PPC connected to the house and not the uh, trebuchet. Sure, we'll do it like that. Bit of heat here. Taking the shot. But we are making progress, and that's important. And then, Razor's gonna go down there, and she's gonna guard and cloak again. And that's how we do it. Okay, I understood ECM. That is how we do it. So you have to put the Raven into a position, and after the Raven ends its turn, it provides the ECM. Okay, got this. So, sorry for the early game, guys. It was my first time playing around with that, and I had no clue how to use it beforehand, so... Ready for orders. Now I understand. <laughs> Completely. 
punch him again. Let's do it. Attack! It's another 70 damage. He's down to 3 health. That should be it. That should Awaiting seal orders. the deal. Perfect. <laughs> I want to keep my LRMs, by the way. Actually, let's go all mediums here. I had to make sure. I will take some internal damage deliberately just to get the uh, ABC out of the field and. Just for confirmation. It cloaked? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Good. That means, if I'm not making any mistakes now, yes, Commander. we can do something like. Oh, interesting. Something like that. Move in here. Do this. Our LRMs. Okay, with... Yeah, actually two of them. Let's go. Wanna take those shot. down. Perfect. Target site demolished. And we're gonna use yep. Conqueror to get... Oh. Uh... Here? Why the hell not? Affirmative. Gonna shoot that turret with all we have. And then we're gonna put Razor into the middle of them, and she's gonna cloak them again, the LRMs again, right? Oh, um, maybe not. Oh, of course. No, wait, what? Oh, that's unusual. I think we can power through now. Let's just do it. You. Um, you go... What? Let's put him over here. Yeah. Copy that. We're gonna multi-target. We don't need much here. That's a PPC, that's an LRM. Bam. Confirmed. How? Okay, and that is what? 57 damage? Commander? Here's what we do. We'll bring the trebuchet up here, putting the medium lasers as well as our remaining LRM-15, and we'll be fine. In fact, let's just shoot the LRM-1 medium. Engaging target. There's no need of getting more damage on the on the pilot or on the mech uh, and needed. <laughs> we got this. No long range missiles remaining. Yay, we are fine. Got this under control. And I think that was all of the turrets. Which means that we now <laughs> that we now just destroy the buildings and then we can finally go home. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy the only thing that I'm worried about now is enemy reserves. If they come in and help out with a new lands of mechs, I'm just dying. And in that case, I'm just gonna Target. run away shot, with my raven and leave all of the other guys down. just there. <laughs> Alright, first One facility down. Structure. Let me see. Serving, serving, uh, yeah. Bring in. Good. Always making sure that the Raven is still the last one to engage. Moving to position. Yeah, we're gonna take the small building. To be able to take it down in one blow, perfect. Then we have a large and another medium, okay. Standing by. Affirmative. Ba -ba -ba. On so, admittedly, I got very lucky here. So, I really wonder if the game was tilting the odds in my favor a little bit, just because the game was like, yes, Commander. Ara, what are you doing there? I told you in the Confirm. tutorial earlier. I mean, seriously, did you not listen? Did you not understand how it works? And then, the bringing your mechs on the buildings when they are stray shots from the LRMs. Are you serious about that? Okay, excellent work all around, people. Hang on tight, and I'll get you out of there. Can't happen fast enough, Mayor. Did he not die? I think I can speak for all of us when I say we are more than ready to get the hell out of this planet. Mission successful. Made it. It took a while, yet again, but hey. Oh god, this is gonna be such a long episode. Crazy. Maybe I'm gonna cut it in half, even. Uh, we will see. Okay. Um, payout is good. And... Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. There's stuff. We will take trebuchet parts because trebuchets are fun. They are really good. 
Just a bunch of LRMs. I'm hoping for two LRM 15 here, by the way. Ugh, we get a 20, but it's fine. Alrighty. Yeah, if we can finish the Trebiche, it's gonna be a nice fire support mech. Those LRMs are just... But they're just really, really good. But hey, let's see the aftermath of all of this here. Let's see what is happening with the people on the planet, with Bravo Lands, with all the people that are so eager to get their hands on the Raven. Seriously. It's the whole inner sphere. All of the great houses want hands on that um, prototype. Okay. That R&D lab went up like a Christmas tree, Commander. Beautiful work. That Raven is hell of a machine, I gotta say. I can't understand why Dame Catherine wanted it for herself. Yeah. Her and everyone else. Commander, you're not going to believe this, but Lady Alexandra Cunningham is calling on behalf of House Davian. She says it's about an acquisition deal and it's urgent <laughs> a funny thing xo i actually do believe it put her on the line let's hear what she has to say really? commander williamson i won't beat around the bush you have one of the capellan confederation's raven prototypes and now davian wants it we'll match whatever deal sing offered you and you'll have the thanks of house of house davian to boot I know that Singh gave you a high-minded speech about maintaining the balance of power. That's what we want too. In fact, House Davian has no intention of using the Raven at all. We see it as a bargaining chip. Nothing more. You say that now, but you haven't seen what it can do. I don't need to. In the long run, it'll make little difference. Oh, certainly. It may tip the balance of a battle or two, but here's a funny thing about game-changing technologies. The game only stays changed until the new rules are understood. Then it goes back to being the same old game. The one we've been playing from time immemorial. The idea of the Raven is what's truly valuable, and that's what we aim to control. In any event, Commander, I won't bore you with any more idle chatter. I'm a busy woman, and I'm sure that you have a lot, or, or, a lot on your mind. But consider my offer. Know where to find me. Your view screen goes blank as Lady Cunningham's service arc uh, uh, severs the connection. Okay, it's official. Everybody wants a prototype, and they'll pay through the nose to get it. Our contract was with with House Marek, though. Force Commander Singh brought all of us together on this, and we all agreed that the Raven would go to him. Personally, I'm in favor of keeping our promises. I agree. But at the end of the day, we aren't the ones who should be matching the choice. Commander Williamson is uh, making the choice of matching. Agreed. We owe you, Commander. You helped us get justice for Umbra. And... Uh, she would have died for nothing without your help. Chances are, we all would have. How about you, Peregrine? You on board with this? Yeah. Oh, the way that I see it, the Raven is yours to do with as you see fit. If you sell it to someone we don't like, we'll just pack our bags and go someplace else. Hmm, we're soldiers without a country now. Whatever Sing says, our only real loyalty should be to ourselves. It sounds like the kind of a mercenary might say. Welcome to the biz. You kids are gonna do great. Now, about the Raven. You had to break down an options XL? Uh, okay. Well, it comes down to a couple of questions. Do we keep it or sell it? And if we sell it, who to? The benefits to keeping it is... It, wait. The benefits to keeping it are obvious. It's a hell of a mech and nobody else has one yet. If we offer it to one of the great houses, we'll be out of Raven, but our reputation will skyrocket and we'll get paid. Bravo Lance is right, though. In the end, it's Commander Williamson's choices to make. Hmm, okay. Offer the Raven to House Marek. Our contract was House Marek. I see no reason not to honor the contract. Offer the Raven to House Liao. Mm hmm, it's going back to the Capellans. Uh, keep the Raven for yourself. Okay. And actually, I have a different idea what to do with the Raven. Do I care about the Raven? That's the thing. I mean, that thing is obviously another cool thing to have and play around with. I really, really like it. At the same time, can I salvage its components and put it into different mechs? If so, 
Yes, Raven, great. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use the ECM for my advantage. But if it's um, just a quirk to the Raven that I cannot plug out, it is a light mag, a scout, that will be obsolete in, I would say, five episodes. What's the different idea here? Can I go back to my decisions when I click that? That's not cool. Oh man! Do I want to keep the Raven? Actually, I like I like firepower more than stealth. I have a different idea. Let's go. I want to see what's happening. Ah, okay. So it's still going on here. Okay. Uh, how's Davion? Okay, we can give it to Steiner Kurita to help with the successor states if you really want to demo de democratize now. Democratize power. I say we offer it up to the pirates! Yes! Oh my god! What will we get from the pirates? I have no idea. Just probably the reputation and maybe a black market invitation. Um. God damn it, I'm gonna keep that thing. Will I? No. No. I yes. Okay. Everything is just money. We're gonna get the special parts. We can get money in any point. Okay, we're gonna get the options again. We're gonna keep the raven. Alright. Uh, keep the raven for yourself. Let's do it. Hell yeah, boss. Hell yeah. I guess we are going independent for a while, Bravo Lance. Packing our bags for the frontier. Eat the hell of staying here. See you around, Commander. We'll bump, maybe we'll bump into each other out on the frontier. We'd like that, Bravo Lands. Best of luck. Your view screen cuts to a test pattern as Bravo Lands service severs the connection. Yeah. <sighs> All's well that ends well, boss. And if you don't mind my saying, this is a good damn ending. A damn good ending. We are coming out of this assignment with a brand new raven, and that's a hell of a lot more than Force Commander Singh offered us. But to that, Yang, now suggest that we go enjoy our shiny new battle mag. There's nothing here for us anymore, and I, for one, will be happy to leave the, douche, the douchey of Andurian behind. Okay, I think it was the better choice here to make. Also, Flashpoint Cash! Here's the raven! Oh yeah. That's a PPC double plus with plus 10 damage. That is a melee gyro. We have an AC2 double plus with accuracy and crit. We have an AC5 double plus with 2 accuracy and an SRM6 with critical damage. That Nick you asked for is cleared for fighting. Okay, now the biggest question is... Uh, yeah, we dropped the panther. The biggest question is... Do we get to refit the Raven and use his ECM? No, it is a fixed item, as I was expecting, that is not able to, um, you know, we are not able to get it out of this. Okay. Still, I think I'm gonna use that machine for a mission or two. I think I'm just gonna drop heat sinks here. This, this thing, the, the Raven, probably doesn't fire at all anyway, so yeah, we're gonna toy around with it a little bit. But yeah, guys, that was your episode of um, Battletech Urban Warfare for today. It was hell of a ride, and I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.